Hello and welcome to the channel. Only a few days ago, news reports broke of a proposed 114% increase of salary for politicians, judiciary and public office holders. The federal government quickly came out and shut the news down, especially in the wake of them being in negotiation with organized labor over trying to ease the burdens of Nigerians owing to fuel subsidy removal which has made things difficult for a lot of persons. It seemed insensitive on their part for the government to agree to a wage increase for them, but not for the masses. But despite the federal government debunking the claim, Arise TV Rufai Oseni is not having it on us this to say. Subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you. They are planning to discredit the truth. Rufai Oseni reacts as federal government debunks salary increment. Popular Nigerian TV host Rufai Oseni has reacted to reports from the presidency debunking the alleged increment in the salaries of public office holders. Recall that there have been reports that the revenue mobilization allocation on fiscal commission RMAFC had proposed a 114% increase in the salary of the president, vice president, elected federal and state political office holders, as well as judicial officers. However, the special advisor to the president on special duties, communication and strategy, Dele Alake, had on Thursday announced that no proposal for salary increment had been brought before President Bola Tinubu. We state without any equivocation that President Bola Tinubu has not approved any salary increase and no such proposal has been brought before him for consideration. While we recognize that it is within the constitutional remit of the RMAFC to propose and fix salaries and allowances of political office holders and judicial officers, such cannot come to effect until it has equally been considered and approved by the President, Alake said. Reacting to the development via a post shared on Twitter, Orseni argued that contrary to the federal government's claims, there exists a proposal. He insisted that Tinubu's administration was trying to discredit the truth. He wrote, It is a fact that there is a proposal for revenue increase. Even a rep from RMFAC confirmed and defended it on TV yesterday. Then I affirm they want to increase salaries. They cry fake news. The plan is to discredit the truth, but they have failed already. The truth stands. Recall that the Revenue Mobilization Allocation and Fiscal Commission, RMAFC Chairman, Muhammadu Shehu, had said the commission has recommended an upward review in the basic salaries of political and judicial office holders. Shehu, who was represented by the RMAFC Commissioner from KB State, Rakia Tanko Ayuba disclosed this on Tuesday in Benin Kebi during the presentation of the reviewed remuneration package of political and judicial office holders to the state governor, Nasir Idris. The RMAFC board stated that the reviewed salary will be approved by the national and state assemblies before its implementation. However, in a post on Twitter, Orseni had said, Public and judicial officers think about how to increase their salaries, but they don't think about the suffering of the masses. He wrote, July 1st, electricity tariff will go up and more suffering for the masses. All they think about is how to increase their own salaries. Meanwhile, RMAFC has denied some trending reports claiming the government has approved the increment of salaries of political office holders judicial and public office holders by 114 percent according to the rmafc public relations officer christian washuku president bola tinibu is yet to approve any such increase adding that plans are still in progress for the increment noashuku had that the trending claim of a salary increase for some public office holders did not emanate from him or from the rmafc chairman subscribe like, share, comment, and please turn the notification bell on. Thank you. In related news, Rufai Oseni 
has urged the federal government to make some changes in the National Assembly so as to ease the effect of the removal of fuel subsidy on the nation. Speaking via a series of tweets, Hosseini asked the federal government to cut the National Assembly 160 billion naira budget to 50 billion, adding that the leftover funds should be used to improve federal medical facilities across the nation. He argued that if Nigerians have to suffer the effect of the subsidy removal, then the lawmakers must also not be exempted. Speaking for the the political analyst insisted that the number of ministers of state and special advisors should also be cut down. He wrote, National Assembly gets over 160 billion, cut that money to 50, make it a unicameral legislature, use the remaining money to upgrade the federal medical centers across the country. If Nigerians are suffering subsidy removal, let the National Assembly budget also be tremendously cut. Also, we must cut cost of governance since Nigerians are suffering subsidy cuts now. No need for ministers of state. No need for too much special advisors. They really don't do much. Spend that money on schools and hospitals and whittle down some MDAs. Also, we must reduce how much is spent on the presidency since Nigerians are suffering subsidy removal. Also, Rufai Oseni has shared his thoughts on the claims of the ex-senator representing Baoshi North Senatorial District, Adamu Mohamed Bulkashua. Recall that some days back, a disturbing video of Bulkashua bragging that he influenced the decision of his wife, Zainab Bulkashua, a retired justice of the appeal court to favor some of his friends while she was in her office, had surfaced online. The statement was reportedly made during the valedictory session of the Senate. The senator had said, particularly my wife, whose freedom and independence I encroached upon when she was in office, and she has been very tolerant and accepted my encroachment and extended her help to my colleagues. Reacting to the video via a series of tweets, Oseni lamented that despite the open confession, the senator has not been apprehended or probed. He expressed his hope that sherry picking when it comes to fighting corruption will not overwhelm the nation someday. The TV host insisted that Bukashua ought to be questioned on his claims. He wrote, Two days after a senator said his wife helped his colleagues on legal cases, no arrests, no investigations, we are not ready to fight corruption yet as a nation. I pray this our pick and choose fight on corruption will not overwhelm us. By now, Mr. Bukashua should be asked to name those colleagues in the Senate his wife helped. That's the news, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye.